Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Scorpion XO ST1400. Before we dive in and show you all the quirks and features of this ST1400, first go ahead and click subscribe for me and stay up to date on all the latest parts and gear coming to you from speedaddicts.com. So this helmet's been around for a minute. We hadn't made time to do a deep dive and we're gonna do that here for you today. If you're not aware, Scorpion XO is one of the hottest lines in street gear. They make everything from helmets all the way down to your boots. Uh, when it comes to helmets, they don't just bid them out to uh, whatever factory is available at that moment. They own their own factories. That means they could push the features and designs that they wanna do and really refine their helmets. They also stand behind all their helmets with a full five-year warranty, which is three years uh, longer than the industry average. So they make good stuff, and this is great stuff in terms of their lineup, right? So good, best, better. This is at the top. The ST1400 is not cheap, starting around $430. Again, this is, uh, we're talking spring 2022. I know prices keep going up, so I'm gonna mention, whenever I talk about pricing in our videos, uh, it comes with a disclaimer, things could scoot up, but the solid carbon comes in at 430, and the carbon with the graphics, like the one you see in front of me, this is the caffeine graphic, go closer to 450 at this point. What you're getting is a full face, full 3K carbon fiber shell with that interior drop down sun visor. So you're ready for all sorts of lighting conditions, and uh, that is the Sport Touring Cruiser. Wherever you wanna use it, a helmet like this is gonna give you that versatility um, to conquer any riding conditions without having to change your face shield or carry around a different one in the box because you have that and you can toggle that on and off. Three pounds and just over three pounds, 3.05 pounds or 1400 grams. In case you're wondering, that's where the 1400 in the name comes from. This is a really light helmet, light to the touch. So anything that's right around three pounds, you're gonna pick it up and go, whoa, that's light, because most helmets are weighing, most average helmets are weighing around three and a half, all the way up to four pounds. So that's why you're paying that kind of cash for that carbon fiber shell is that weight saving. So it is DOT and ECE certified. It comes in three shell sizes that make up a range from extra small up to two extra large. What am I talking about when I say shell sizes? Well, helmet manufacturers, make between maybe one and four shell sizes to make up all the different sizes in the range. In between those sizes, they, they change the comfort liner and cheek pads to fit the helmet differently. The more shell sizes, the more precise the fit on, the, on your head, and that means you're not wearing a helmet that's too big or too small for you, a shell, which means less drag, less noise, all that sort of good stuff. So three shell sizes is a nice thing. Intermediate oval true size, Go over that Scorpion sizing chart at speedx.com and you probably won't get it wrong, but in case you do, we offer risk-free shopping. So we pay the shipping to you and from you in case it doesn't work out, you wanna exchange it or just get a, a you know different helmet altogether refund. You call it, as long as it's new in the original packaging, we will cover you there. Let's dive in and check out some of the features on the ST1400. First up is always ventilation. A unique thing you'll see about this is this one piece ram air induction system that goes across the whole top of the helmet. So you have a big gnarly ram air vent with a big switch, easy to work with gloves on. It's got one, two, three positions. So you do have versatility there. It's not just all the way off or all the way on. But you'll notice this plastic piece right here, this is all one piece and it is connected to your exhaust. So that's really meant to suck that cold air in and push the hot air out the back of the helmet. This is a Venturi Ram exhaust. It's very unique. I haven't seen any other helmet manufacturer do a big one piece Ram air vent like that. So that is gonna keep you nice and cool. Inside the helmet, the EPS is also channeled and ported to get the cold air right onto your scalp. We'll show you more on that in a minute. Let's talk about the face shield. So we've got the uh, lift up front lock right here. So that is pinched to open and you can, whoops, snap it all the way. So it's really secure. You do have to work that with gloves on. So it's a little extra step instead of just a total side push. But I like that it's located in the front so you can get to it with either glove. Um, as far as the shield changes on this, really straightforward. You're just going to go ahead and lift this release up and this will come right out. And then to put it back in, you just line it up, whoops, and push. So one of the easier ones I've seen in the business. The other nice thing is that this, uh, this pivot kit is 
uh, under spring tension so that when you close it, it is being pulled back onto the helmet to make a really nice seal and keep the elements out of your face. It is, uh, it does have detents, so let's count them one, two, three, four, five. So you can roll around with it slightly open like I do to get some air, especially when it's hot out, you can leave it slightly up. Uh, if you're cruising through town and then you're gonna get on the highway, go ahead and lock that in the full locked position. Uh, more ventilation down here, chin bar vent. You do have multiple positions, one, two, one, whoops, one, two, three, so that is adjustable. And so you can totally close off the ventilation if you are hitting cooler temps up in the front. The exhaust is always open. Let's talk about more about the face shield. So they're actually gonna include a whole nother face shield in the box. And they give you a sock for it, okay? Because we need one of those. And you're gonna pull this out and you're gonna go, ooh, they gave me two clear shields. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Um, the only difference is that this one is pin lock ready. So it's got these little tabs here that you install the pin lock insert onto. What is a pin lock insert? That is this lens right here that installs on the inside of the face shield, creating a dual pane system to manage the temperature differential from the inside and out and either eliminate or completely uh, or reduce or completely eliminate a fog situation. So if you live where it's foggy, it's nice that they include all that, especially at this price point, you know, you're paying over 400 bucks. You expect to get the bells and whistles. They are included here. I will get rid of those. Also in the box is a helmet bag, but it's not just any sock. It actually has quite a bit of padding to it. Um, nice drawstring, you know, branding, that sort of stuff. But I just wanted to call it out because it is like, it's quilted. It's got a little bit more than your average helmet sock. So they're including that with the ST1400. And let's flip this guy over and show you what's going on inside because there's more goodies to be found. All right. By the way, the actuator for that drop down visor is over on this side. So you're going to pull that back to drop it down, push it forward to pull it up. If you don't use the sun visor, feel free to just remove that. You're going to save yourself some weight. You won't have something that bounces around if you hit a bump or something like that inside the helmet, just pull it out and you don't need to run it. They also sell a variety of different shields. If you want smoke, iridium, different colors, those are available for this helmet. <clears throat> so feel free to customize to your heart's content. Flipping it over, you're gonna see emergency quick release cheek pads. Those are used for EMS. Should you uh, have a get off, they can remove you from the helmet or easier if they pull the cheek pads out of the way first, it's safer to remove the helmet without yanking on your head and neck. So that is what these emergency quick release straps are for. But even cooler, if we pull the chin curtain out of the way, so this is like a nice neoprene chin curtain. If we pull that out of the way, you will see the air fit system. So the air fit system, it has a couple of bladders hooked up to it in the cheek pad area. And as you pump, pump, pump this up, it will snug the helmet onto your face. This is not meant to be a substitute for a properly fitted helmet, mind you. This is just to get that extra snugness that will keep the helmet from buffeting and creating noise. Because actually, most people think noise is created on the outside of the helmet. Well, that might be true. Most noise is created from a helmet that's not fitting you properly. It's moving, it's buffeting, and you're getting noise leaking in from the bottom. So if you can snug up the helmet with their air fit system, It'll reduce all that sort of stuff. It's also nice because, it, I don't know if you guys ever watch racing, but you know, racers, they wear a helmet probably a size smaller than you would want to on the street. They really cram their helmet in to, to keep it from buffeting. Um, they get a really tight fit, but you know, most street riders don't want that race fit. They want something that's a little bit more comfortable to get in and out of. That's where the air fit system comes on. So you can get a helmet that fits you normal, you put it on your head, doesn't tear your ears off, and then you could snug it up a bit in the cheek pad area. And when you're ready to get out, you can hit that release. You can hear that air escape. And when I move these, remove these cheek pads, we'll show you those bladders that are filling up. So that is the Scorpion Air Fit System. They feature it on a few of their helmets these days. Really cool and unique. We'll hit that release one more time just because it's fun. Okay, we're gonna pull these cheek pads out of the way. This helmet is ready to use with the comm system of your choosing. Um, Scorpion does have a comm system uh, nowadays called the Exocom. It is not meant for this helmet. It's meant for some of their newer models like the T520 and um, 930. 
So you are free to choose whichever comm system you want. We'll show you the, the cheek pads right here. You notice the cheek pads and the neck roll are one piece. A lot of times when you set your helmets down on stuff, that neck roll gets snagged up. And if that happens, you can just replace these cheek pads down the road and completely refurbish the bottom side of your helmet. That way they're not two different pieces. The neck roll and cheek pads are one and the same. And like I said, they got that emergency quick release feature. Okay, now with those out of the way, you can see that white piece. That is the bladder that pumps up for the air fit system. And then we're gonna show you the speaker pockets right behind typical D-ring closure, right? With the snap on the loose end. That out of the way, you can see that hole for the cheek or the, um, the speaker pocket right there. So the nice thing about this helmet, a lot of uh, manufacturers, when they're installing these drop down visors, sometimes they'll put the slider, the mechanism or the, um, the activator for that drop down visor down here on the bottom edge, which causes problems when you're trying to install your comm system. Scorpion's moved it up out of the way, so you're free to mount your computer wherever you want on that left side, because remember, the right side is the throttle side. So you can mount your computer right there, speaker pockets, you're good to go. You can remove this chin curtain if you don't want to run it. And so this is the perfect sport touring lid. It's lightweight, it's comm system ready, it includes the pin lock insert, it's relatively quiet and you are getting the air fit system to really snug it up and reduce the noise and vibration, make it a real smooth ride. And anytime I see a helmet with moving parts, I like to know that a good warranty is coming from it and a good company to stand behind it. Scorpion actually has a warranty house in California, so they are stateside, ready to take care of anything that should pop up. And they've got you covered for a full five years, which is nice to know when you're investing this sort of money in a helmet. So. If you're into the ST1400, head over to speedax.com and give one a try today. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time we uncrate something here.